Hi friends, welcome back to USMLA team. Today's topic is uh, uh, Thazide. Um, before starting this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel and tell your friends to subscribe. Our channel name is uh, All or Non Law. Uh, we have we are making different playlist. Right now we are covering topics related to USMLA Step One. So and uh, we have completed uh, nearly hundred videos on uh, USMLA Step Three and uh, Step Two CK. So before starting this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel and tell your friends to subscribe. Okay, let me start with this. Thazides. These are very important drugs. Just uh, the drugs that are included in this are uh, hydrochlorothiazide and uh, indapamide. Okay, so these are the drugs used uh, as an anti antihypertensive drugs. So thazide, a class of diuretics, often used to treat hypertension and edema. Thiazides and the thiazides like diuretics reduce the risk of death, stroke, heart attack, heart failure due to hypertension. So these are the important uses of uh, thiazides. Okay, the for USMLE step one, you should know the mechanism of action. That's very important. The members of this class of diuretics are derived from a benzothiazide. Uh, they control hypertension in a part by inhibiting reabsorption of sodium and chloride ions from the distal convoluted tubule uh, in the kidneys by blocking the thiazide sensitive Na plus chloride minus uh, symporter. The term thiazide is also often used for uh, drugs with a similar action that do not have the thiazide chemical structure such as uh, uh, chlorothalidone and metallozone. These agents are more properly termed thiazide like diuretics. Thiazide diuretics also increases the calcium reabsorption at the distal convoluted tubule uh, sorry distal tubule by lowering the sodium concentration within the epithelial cells thiazides increase the activity of na plus uh, calcium 2 plus atpase on the basolateral membrane to pump more calcium into the interstitium this in turn lowers the intracellular calcium concentration so that more to calcium that is ca plus uh, may diffuse into the cell via apical CA2 plus selective channels. In other words, less calcium in the cell increases the driving force for reabsorption from the lumen. Okay, this is what the beautiful diagram about the uh, drugs diuretics acting on the um, this uh, nephron. So if you can see here, A1 is uh, on the extreme on the left side, left lower side. There you see one is uh, astazolamide. That's also very important diuretic. Uh, osmotic agents like mannitol is a two, and three is a loop agents like a uh, furosemide. Um, four is a thiazide, and a five aldosterone antagonist, and the six is ADH antagonist. Okay, so. Um, Look at the four. Four is here on the. Uh, there you can see on the screen. Uh, uh, okay, so this is where it acts. Okay, so this is the important action. And again, you can see here on the four on the this Na plus uh, Cl minus. So three is the loop agent uh, that causes uh, this uh, calcium, potassium, sodium, uh, magnesium, and uh, the all this uh, efflux from the. Um, uh, what you call uh, DCT, right? So this is what you should remember. Loop of from a loop of Henle. Okay. So this is a thin limb, ascending limb, and thick ascending limb. Uh, this is the site where this uh, thiazides act. Okay. So this is very very important. Uh, you should know the diagram. If you know by the diagram, then you will remember for a longer time. Uh, okay, the, you you can see here the phi that is aldosterone antagonist uh, acting on this side. Uh, okay, collecting ducts at the level of the collecting ducts. Okay, so um, this is the where it acts. Estazolamide acts on the uh, on this side of PCT that is uh, proximal uh, convoluted tubule. Um, there is a Na plus CH CO3 ca, CO3 minus NaCl minus. Sorry. Okay, so this is the action uh, for different uh, diuretics on uh, nephron. Okay, thiazides are also thought to increase the reabsorption of calcium by mechanism involving the reabsorption of sodium and the calcium in the proximal tubule in response to sodium depletion. Some of this response is due to augmentation of the action of parathyroid hormone. So you should know the um, what is the function of um, thiazides because if you know the functions of thiazides or actions of thiazides then you will be able to remember the side effects. Okay, so important you have to remember the important side effects because USMLE will trick you in the side effects. Okay, like hypercalcemia 
hypercalcemia or a hypercalcemia hypercalcemia or hyper hypocalcemia hyper uricemia or hypouricemia hyperglycemia or hypoglycemia so this is how they will trick you so try to concentrate more that has passed through the breast milk and in some cases decrease the flow of the breast milk there is no specific information regarding the use of thiazides in children but it is still advised that mother avoid using thiazides during the first month of the breastfeeding so the, this can be asked in the usml step 2 ckr step 3 okay okay the contraindications so as you know the mechanism right uh, now we have the contraindication for the use of this uh, what you call uh, thiazides hypotension is a contraindication allergy to sulfur containing medications remember allergy to sulfur containing medications gout uh, renal failure why gout you have to answer me because one of the side effect of uh, thiazides is a hyperuricemia so gout is contraindicated right renal failure as you know lithium therapy hypokalemia and uh, may worsen the diabetes Thiazides reduce the clearance of uric acids and raise the levels of uric acid in the blood, hence they are prescribed with the caution in the patients of gout or hyperuricemia. Chronic administration is associated with the hyperglycemia, that's why it's uh, uh, cautiously it should be used in a diabetic patients. So I will ask you a question that uh, if the patient is uh, hypertensive and is a diabetic, which of which is the drug of choice for that patient? Okay, it's an ACE inhibitor, remember, okay. Um, Thiazides causes loss of uh, blood potassium while conserving the blood calcium. Thiazides can decrease the placental perfusion and adversely affect the fetus, so should be avoided during the pregnancy. So, if in your assembly they will ask you that uh, uh, the patient is concerned about the thiazides during the pregnancy, so what is your best advice? So, you should remember this. Okay, increases the delivery of the sodium to the collecting ducts, causes increased cellular uptake of the NA, that is sodium, from the lumen of apical epithelial. Uh, uh, Na plus channels. Uh, then this then causes the basolateral exchanger to move to more actively exchange Na plus for K plus, which is then passively secreted into the lumen through the apical channels, resulting in the K loss. This is how it causes a hypokalemia in a uh, patients taking thiazides. So remember, this is a mechanism. Okay, moreover, then the increased delivery of a Potassium to the collecting ducts facilitates the exchange of K plus for H plus by the H by K exchanger on the intercalated alpha cells resulting in the loss of H. That is the metabolic alkalosis. So metabolic alkalosis is one of the side effect of uh, thiazides. So okay. Just you can remember if there is a hypokalemia, remember there is a alkalosis. This is how you can remember. Oh, activation of a renin angiotensin aldosterone system by the diuretics hypokalemia, uh, hypovolemia. Sorry, uh, body responds to hypovolemia by opposing diuresis. One effect of which is to produce aldosterone, which stimulates the Na plus K plus exchanger, resulting in further loss of potassium. For this reason, ACE inhibitors, which inhibits angiotensin two production and therefore aldosterone activation, are frequently used in combination with thiazides to combat hypokalemia so look at the use and look at this function this so you should uh, memorize this and you should remember okay what are the complications or what are the side effects usually you see it's a hyperglycemia hyperlipidemia hyperuricemia hypercalcemia hypokalemia hyponatremia there are only two hyponatremia the hypo that is a hypokalemia and hyponatremia rest are increased as a glycemia lipidemia uricemia and calcemia so these are the important points you should also remember and there are other side effects also like in hyperlipidemia uh, it increases the ldl okay and the triglycerides except there is one drug that one thiazide that does not uh, causes hyperlipidemia can you tell me which is that drug send it through the comments okay i will be waiting uh, for that okay then other things uh, what i want to tell you is there can be a sexual uh, dysfunction because of the thiazides okay so remember about this uh, the, the the drug interaction the important is uh, it should be avoided in a patient with diabetes mellitus and the second is uh, uh, with the uh, digoxin okay digoxin what you call um, it, it increases the toxicity due to electrolyte in disturbance okay so these are the important points you should know about um, thiazides